Let's speak now to Hanan Fajani in Abidjan. Uh, Hanan, what's been the reaction in the region where you are? Well, there have been quite uh, a few reactions, especially on the political front uh, in Francophone uh, Africa since the announcement of uh, the results last night. Uh, I'm thinking uh, namely of Ivory Coast, where uh, President Alassane Ouattara was among the first one to react last night, as expected. Uh, he uh, congratulated uh, Emmanuel Macron on his re-election and extended his warm wishes uh, via his uh, Twitter account. He said, and I quote, I am delighted to continue to strengthen the ties of friendship and cooperation uh, between Ivory Coast and France. Ties of friendship and cooperation that essentially boil down to a long-standing uh, privileged uh, relationship both on uh, the political and economic front between uh, the two countries. Ivory Coast remains France's uh, second largest economic partner in, in sub-Saharan Africa today. It is estimated that some uh, 250 French subsidiaries are based here in Ivory Coast. Now, of course, uh, Alassane Ouattara was not the only uh, leader in the region to react uh, to uh, this uh, uh, results. Um, other uh, francophone uh, leaders, uh, you know, reacted in, in, in a sort of a, uh, expected uh, manner. Senegalese uh, President Macky Sall was actually the first one to react uh, to uh, Emmanuel Macron's victory and to celebrate it as well. Uh, similarly, uh, Gabonese leader Ali Bongo Dimba and Nigerian President Mohamed um, uh, Bazoum also celebrated this victory and described it, and I quote, as brilliant uh, victory from uh, Emmanuel Macron. On the other hand, we did not hear from other uh, Francophone uh, African uh, leaders, namely, uh, I'm thinking of the countries uh, of uh, Guinea, uh, Mali, and Burkina Faso, all three countries in West Africa that have undergone um, military coups in recent years and months and that are currently governed by a military a transitional uh, government. Um, you know, uh, relationships between uh, those governments and uh, France have been quite tense uh, in recent uh, months, and it is specifically the case for Mali, where we saw tensions escalate to the point of the uh, military junta in Mali, uh, you know, represented by Assimi Goita, demanding uh, that France uh, simply withdraw its troops that are part of the Bakan mission against, uh, you know, jihadism, uh, terrorism threat uh, in the country to simply leave uh, the territory. And we know that this mission is currently underway. So it's not surprising at all that they haven't uh, celebrated or even commented on this election. Anani, thank you uh, so much for that.